This is green, right? Green. Green, my bad. The, sh <laughs> the clock has struck green, and this hour is my chance to arrive. It's that first poem. I'm on a mission to find that one poem that means everything. You're watching Kenyo. What's up, guys? Everyone having fun? I think you are. This is, there's a lot of artists here, so I'm going to do some artist poetry. It's for you guys in the gutter, the artists. Artists! <laughs> My phone turned off. <laughs> Don't worry, it's coming. Artists have no right to fear poverty or any other sickness of the ego. Not the ones up here, not the ones on stage. I will leap deeply off any cliff that promises me a better poem because my poetry saves minds at 100 lives per hour. Much like some of these motorcycles. I've never been the kind of man to put only 10% on the line. If I'm gonna lose at the end of life, I wanna enter heaven with bruises and six mouthfuls of dirt. Artists may have a right to fear, but never the right to turn away. If I had turned away, I wouldn't be here today. I wouldn't have made it to this stage or any of the other stages I saw this year. Tokyo, Nagoya, Los Angeles, New Orleans, Dallas, San Antonio. I didn't actually perform in Tokyo, actually. In Nagoya, though. Okay. What were those except the edges of an epiphany? What is this stage except pieces of a prophecy carved from the marble lips of legacy, diamonds plucked from the pressure of my ancient relevance? This sort of thing doesn't happen on accident. People like us don't gather here on accident. People like us could never be an accident. I'm not sure what word you hear when I say poet when it gets tossed into the ring with my tongue, but I know I've thrown a couple left hooks and tomorrow you'll wake up with bruises wondering how you got them. What is this except very likely one of the last opportunities for your eyes to meet mine before I start the orbit again? Nagoya, Los Angeles, New Orleans, Dallas, Nigeria, New York, Nashville, San Antonio. Did you know that distance is only a series of destinations and speed is like a clock 60 miles every hour and how much did you see while you were there or do you feel as if you have nowhere to go if you've never arrived then i have news for you space is only as potent a metaphor as the times you spent there that's why i will leap deeply off any cliff that promises me a better poem because poetry saves minds at 100 lives per hour and your eyes are my destinations people like us don't gather here on accident. People like us can never be an accident. So for the next one month, I'm gonna travel back and forth between these precious destinations because the clock has struck. This is green, right? Green. Green, my bad. The, <laughs> the clock has struck green, and this hour is my chance to arrive. It's that first poem. <laughs> A million dollars to know that money isn't everything. And I can tell from the look on your face and the tone of your voice whether or not you think I'm worth anything anyway. And I can tell by the look on your face and the tone of your voice that what you really need is poetry. Whether or not you put it in your budget, the world needs perspective like it needs forest, but it burns both. Slaves to security, so I might never cash in. Not on this poetry. I'd rather give it out for free because anyone can give a dollar, but I feel like I'm discovering an epidemic of homelessness, except they have homes, but don't even know what homes are. It's the least I can do to walk these streets with my bag full of honesty and empathy, and somehow I still end up at the Harley Davidson place, <laughs> and on BMWs and planes and at my favorite restaurants and live shows because my faith is like buckets and when the value is real, trying to keep the water back is like trying to flood a bathroom behind the closed door. I might never cash in, not on the poetry. I have plans for, I have plans for trading equity, but for now, I'm just glad to give out a little bit of me because this me is so little and our world is so brittle and courage is so fickle and all we want is a secure currency to know that when we wake up in the morning and go to turn on the lights and we flash back in time, we'll look at our reflection, we'll be powered to say there's still more for me to do, I might never cash in. 
Thanks, guys. You guys ready for Mr. Composition? Make sure to get up and get pushed back down. How am I gonna get past this brick wall now? I'm running straight into a brick wall. That's when you feet tall. I try to climb up when I fall. Trying to get up and get pushed back down. How am I gonna get past this brick wall now? Yeah. yeah. All right, you guys, I'm going to do... I'm going to do a couple more poems for you guys. Give it up for Mr. Composition. Yeah! Woo! He's a legend, guys. Definitely check out his books. He has, he has well, his book, but he has multiple copies, but you would only need one. Anyway, so I'm going to read a couple more poems for you guys. I'm going to go just for some beautiful stuff in this one. What do I love more than anything? A question that promises not to leave me on this time. Taking myself fully out of the equation because I know it isn't me I've quit on. I've quit on me. I've dragged me across towns by ropes, made nickels and quarters, so what do I really love? So I can let you know, so you can stop being abandoned too. I love the music. The songs that play a split second after the greatest realizations. I love the change that marches up into the atmosphere, crackling with inspiration and motivation. I love knowing that even if you're still miles from the shore, you at least caught a glimpse of land and for the first time you have hope. I love the poems buried like hidden treasures, maps written only in stars, X's marked in a quiet house on the 4th of July where there are no fireworks, just her and her phone passionately scrolling, identifying all the elements of her future lifestyle. The one that she promises she'll like and share into manifestation and realizing she's found one post out of 10 trillion that is already hers because she knows that whatever it meant, whatever gold sits unspent on her chest, I love opportunities to surprise oceans in the universe. That was like a secret one, guys. That was like a journal entry that I just read to you. Hope you enjoyed it. There for me, and it's a one of a kind thing. Castles built with clues left for me in the stars, my ancestors made. I used to believe I was psychic, and I was probably right. I used to think I could levitate, and I probably still can, or at least I shouldn't stop trying. I just have to remember what it was like to be 10 years old, handcrafted from possibilities and angel leather. So sure that my flaws were just temporary, so sure that my feathers were coming soon, and that God had been sending me letters that I just hadn't gotten yet. Because even though I'm grateful for all the travels, it feels like I've gone too far from home. I'm tired and can't find the right hours to sleep anymore, but I'm almost there. I had to lose myself so I could find it again, but this time it's better. This time you're here, and we're really starting to build something new from the beginning. So come back with me to the place where it all started. Give it up for Mr. Composition. Mr. Kenyo, yeah, my name is Mr. Composition. So if I can get the Mr. the battery died on my laptop. Um, and the year is almost up. Two months. Yo. Yo.